Hi, I'm Greg Dell with Attorneys Dell and Schaefer, and today I'm here with Cesar Gavidia. How are Great. you today? Good. How are you? Good. And today we are going to discuss the Cigna Regulatory Claim Settlement Agreement that actually went into place with multiple states back in May of 2013. Right. And here we are in February of 2014, and we're first now starting to get some phone calls and contacts from people who are saying they're getting letters from Cigna. So while we thought that possibly Cigna wasn't uh, fully evaluating these claims, mm -hmm. either people weren't finding us, which is unusual, or Cigna finally got around to getting in touch with these people, and that's why we're hearing about it. So we've done in the past, Caesar, myself, and uh, attorney Stephen Jessup did a long video talking about the settlement, but now that we got to the point where people are actually contacting us and saying, hey, Cigna's reaching out to me, and I think Cigna's only given them like 20 or 30 days to, to reply, which is kind of crazy, what should people be aware of once Cigna contacts them? Yeah, the first thing they need to be aware of is if they've had their claim denied, this is another bite of the apple, basically. You know, there's people that may have uh, submitted a claim back in, you know, 2008 or 2009. I think it applies differently in, in different states. I think California, they're allowing the review to go back to January 08 through, I think, December 31st, 2010, while in most other states, I think it's if your claim was denied between January 1st, 2009 and December 31st, 2010. But the, the thing that people need to know is that you have a very limited window of time here to do something and try to make a recovery on those disability benefits, so you have to act quickly. Okay. So in, in terms of these claims, if someone calls you, calls myself, or any of our disability lawyers, is there going to be a charge or initial charge to review their claim? No, we, we're not going to charge them to review their claim. What we're doing is basically assessing if there's merit to the case, if there's an ability for us to assist them and help them to try to recover these benefits from Cigna that they've been denied. Okay, and if a person has this claim denied and they decide, you, know, you decide it's something you think you can help them with or they decide they want to engage us, what are the immediate actions that are going to have to be taken? Yeah. Well, the first thing we're going to have to do is get the claim file. Right. Um, the claim file is basically all the documents and all the evidence proof of law says that it's called in the, in the disability policy that's been submitted to the insurance company to Cigna. Um, in order to assess the claim. We've got to comb through that with a fine tooth, with a fine tooth comb. It, it should all, it, that claim file should contain all the notes that these uh, Cigna claim reps, medical consultants, whoever touched the file, essentially any mark, any note that they made should be in that claim file. All the medical records, all the um, claim forms and attending physician forms that the claimant submitted, that should all be in the administrative record or in that claim file. If it's not, if there's something missing, it could be an issue. Right. Okay. So even though they are, you know, we'll get the claim file, and even though they're going to have 30 days, people should know that that's something that we can immediately take action. And if an extension is necessary, we can ask Cigna for it. After all, they are doing a reassessment, and they're going back in time, and they can't really expect people to get the information that quickly. Right. So if you've been contacted by Cigna about a reassessment of a claim that was previously denied, or you happen to have an existing claim that was denied by Cigna, our attorneys have handled hundreds, if not thousands, of Cigna disability appeals, denials. We've had numerous lawsuits against Cigna. Give us a call. It's always a free immediate consultation, and we're going to let you know right away whether or not we can help you.